Hi guys, it's me Amy from Vagabond Youth and today I have another haul for you! So it's quite a long haul, <laughs> long haul, it's quite a long haul and so I'm just gonna get started. So the first few things I got were actually sent by Plunder and I know you guys are probably kind of sick of seeing these all around YouTube because everyone's been showing Plunder stuff but I kind of just had to jump on that bandwagon and I got some Plunder stuff to show to you guys. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is actually something that I wouldn't necessarily necessarily see myself wearing. I just thought it was so freaking pretty that I had to get it and I don't know I've always just I've always seen this kind of thing on sites and I've always wanted to get it but I've never had the chance to so I finally got it and it is this beautiful sequin party dress and what I really like about it is that it has this kind of mesh interlacing in between the sequin parts and it's very reminiscent of the American Apparel a mesh bodysuit that Megan Fox wore on Rolling Stone and I just thought it was so beautiful and sequins, ah, oh, they're just so, they're just so beautiful. The next thing that I got from Blender is this faux leather cropped moto jacket and as you guys know I love me some faux leather jackets and I never in my life thought I would have this many leather jackets in my closet but somehow it's just accumulated and I have this one to add to my collection and what I really like about this one is actually that it's cropped and I don't have any cropped leather jackets and so this is just awesome and I also got this faux fur jacket from BB Dakota and it is so soft and furry. Oh, I just realized I saw the tag on. But anyways, you guys probably saw this in my closet tour video and I have been loving it. It is just super soft and really, really fluffy. And even though it's getting a little warmer here in California and it's still cold where you live, I still would see myself wearing this even in the springtime or maybe just save it for next winter. So I really like it. And I like how the fur looks really natural and it's just this really nice brown color. Then I also got this peasant dress and it is from Mink Pink and it just has this awesome kind of lace-up detailing across the chest area. This is what sold it for me because, I don't know, it just looked really um, Victorian, I guess? I don't know, it looked very, very old. My only complaint about this dress is that the neckline, if you guys can see that, it's a little bit square and boxy and I feel like my upper area is already boxy so it's not going to look too flattering on me but otherwise I think it's a beautiful dress. And again with the sequins, I don't know, I just, I, I like sequins now I guess, I don't know. But I also got these kind of high waisted or disco shorts, sequin shorts. Wow, that was a really bad description. But um, they're just these sequin shorts and I thought these would look flattering on me but I just, it just, I, I feel like it doesn't flatter my body really well. I'll show you guys what it looks like over here and I don't know, it just kind of rides up really easily for me and but I don't know. Otherwise, these things are like just BAM! Looks really good. <laughs> I've always wanted a maxi skirt with a slit on the side because I saw Ami Song from Song of Style wear it and I was just like, oh, so beautiful and she has the best legs. I mean, it's just, it looks great on her. So I'll, I'll show you guys the picture of what I'm talking about right now. Yeah. So I always wanted a maxi skirt with a slit down the side and also I just think it's really subtly sexy and so I picked up this uh, black maxi skirt with a slit on the side and yeah. Now this last piece of clothing I have been loving and I've been wearing it religiously and you guys also saw it in my dorm closet video and it is just this oatmeal asymmetrical kind of cropped oversized knit and it is so comfy and so so soft and really really big as if you guys can see that. And I just like pairing these with kind of like textured pants. Like you guys saw in the video, I was wearing wax denim pants, which by the way, I got from Zara. I know I got a lot of questions on that, but yeah, it's just so, so comfy. And I love the little pocket in here. I mean, I haven't really used it. I just like the way it looks. It adds a little something extra to your ordinary sweater. And the last thing I picked up from Plunder was the black just pointed booty and they're lace-ups and it has a chunky maybe four inch heel. I feel like these are just really basic and every girl should have them so I got them. So I don't know if you guys know but I love American Apparel circle skirts and I actually have two and I can't bring myself to buy another one just because, well I can but 
I, I just don't want to. So I've been coveting the light denim circle skirt and I haven't been buying it because it's just, you guys know American Apparel prices. And so I actually found this one on SwaySheet.com and it's just this basic light wash denim circle skirt and it has all these like little studs at the waistline. I really like this skirt. The only problem is that I ordered it in a size bigger than what I would normally wear. I mean, I wear a size mediums for most of my bottoms but this one for some reason is a little bit big and so I can just belt the waistline which is totally fine but I feel like it looks so apron-y and it kind of flares out that I might have to cut it. Speaking of American Apparel I told you guys that I had a few more American Apparel things on the way in the mail but um, unfortunately I didn't get that much as I thought I would but um, I'll show you guys what I got. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep them because I feel like they're not that flattering. I mean, unfortunately, I didn't get to try these on in the store. What I usually do is I try them on in the store, and then I wait for a flash sale, and I buy it online. Just because American Apparel is really far from my house as well. But, um, I got these taupe riding pants in a size small, and I'm not too sure how I feel about them, but I am probably going to keep them just because I think the riding pants are very kind of iconic in a way. I don't know. I just feel like everyone has them and it's just I have my hands on them now and I'm, I'm too lazy to go return them because like I said American Apparel is quite the long ways from my house. And I also picked up another pair of the Easy Jean but in a light wash denim and unfortunately these do not for some reason fit the same way that um, my other pair do which are in a darker wash and so I am for sure not keeping these but um, I'm not even going to show you guys what they look like on because I feel like they're just so unflattering on my body I, just, I don't want to show you. I picked up a few things from Rom Way and I will show you them really quickly. This uh, super sky blue floral kind of circle skirt and you guys have probably already know but I love my shorts and skirts. I hate pants. I think my roommates already know that but I I never wear pants. I just never wear pants. But um yeah this is just a nice little skirt to add to my collection and it's just very springy. I like it. And then I also got from Romway this military jacket and it's cropped and it just is in this awesome camel color and it has really nice buttons to it. They're very big and kind of just in your face. And the inside lining is actually really, really eye-catching because it has all of these little... It, it's kind of geographic. It has like the maps and stuff, but also some weird cargo logos. But yeah, I thought the inside was really interesting. And it just has this kind of ribbed detailing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Last but not least, I got another dress. And this one is from Fashion Code. I believe it's an Australian brand, so shout out to all the Aussies that watch my videos, I guess. It's very reminiscent of the Hervé... Hervé Leisure. It's very reminiscent of the Hervé Leisure dresses, the bandage style dresses, which I think are amazing. And so I actually got this one in a pale pink color, and it's just really pretty and very dainty. Again, something that I wouldn't normally see myself wearing, but for some reason I just decided to... Um, bite the bullet and get it so there's that all right so that concludes my haul thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check down in the description bar for all of my product description also if you ever need to reach me you can catch me on twitter instagram tumblr or anything and it's all linked down below as well so again thank you guys so much for watching